Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. I'm your host, pastor and purpose pusher, Carolyn Ritter Watson. So come on in, family. This is your morning wake up call, and this is your Tears to Breakthrough moment. And of course, we are writing the word. We study the word, we read the word, and we write the word. And so what does that mean if you're just joining us for the first time? It means that we journal every day as we meditate on the word of God, and then we write the word, the, write, write straight from the Bible into our journals. And it's such a powerful, powerful thing to do. Um, it's something so powerful about the written word of God. And, um, and it slows us down so that we can get quiet enough to hear the voice of God, to hear the, the leading of the Holy Spirit as he guides us throughout our day. Amen. So come on in and let's let's get started. So we write the word. I do post um, in the group, in the Tears to Breakthrough group in our community. I, I have um, the actual schedule, the um, scripture plan and schedule. And all you have to do is follow it every day. And today we are on day 10 because it's the 10th day and our scripture verse let me get that for you and here's my journal so this is what, what it looks like when you write it down see that okay so we are in day 10 psalm 107 14 through 16 day 10 Psalm 107 14 through 16 and so after you've read the word and you've um, written the word, then you want to ask yourself four questions because this is for further study. Okay. The first question is, what does this passage mean? Right? Number two, what does this passage say? Okay. Number three, how does the passage apply to your life? We're going to make this thing personal because we have an up close and personal relationship with God, right? So number three, how does the passage apply to your life? Make it personal. And number four, what will I apply today from this passage? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start reading. But what I would like to do is um, read for you <clears throat> my response to yesterday's passage, okay? And then I'm gonna go to today's, okay? Yesterday I wrote, yesterday we were in um, Psalm 107, 10 through 13. And of course today we are in Psalm 107, 14 to 16. Okay, so I wrote in response to yesterday. I wrote, I thank God that I am no longer sitting in darkness a prisoner suffering in pain and sin. I will always put my trust in God, the most high. Even when I stumble, I will trust him. I will cry out to the Lord in my times of trouble. And he will always save me from every distress. God will always save you from every distress. So say that with me. Say, God will always save me from every distress. Amen. And so now we're going to read, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, for day 10, Psalm 107, 14 through 16. Verse 14 says, he brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away chains. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, darkness and broke every chain. Verse 15 says, let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Verse 16, for he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Mm, how powerful is that? And so just start thinking about the things that God has brought you out of in life. That the, 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 When you were so caught up in sin, right, 
when when you were so caught up in sin, you didn't know your left from your right. You, you didn't know up from down. But God brought you out of that thing. Say, God brought me out of that thing. And some of you may still be, you know, um, dabbling, dabbling in some some things, certain habits that you're having a hard time breaking, you know, certain patterns and cycles that keep showing up in your life. Verse 14 says, he brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away chains. God wants to break every chain. Say, God can break every chain, everything that's keeping you bound. I just declare and decree breakthrough. I declare and decree that you are breaking through. God is breaking you out of everything that has kept you bound. He is breaking every chain. Amen. So then let's begin to thank the Lord. So verse 15 says, let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. God is such a loving God. The Lord has such a love for us. It's an unfailing love. Amen. Nobody's going to love you like your heavenly daddy. I promise you that. And verse 16 says, for he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. God can break through. He can, he can break down anything that's trying to keep you bound. Anything that is not of, of him, anything that does not look like him. Right now, I just declare and decree that that thing is broken off of you. In the name of Jesus, amen. We're just breaking chains today. We're breaking habits today, amen. We're breaking, we're, we're calling down anything that is not like God. We're calling it out right now in the name of Jesus, amen. And so this is what I've written today in response to our text. I wrote, God sent out his word and healed me. I made that thing personal because I just know when I think about the things that God has brought me through, Amen. The stuff that he has forgiven me for. Amen. Listen. God sent out his word and healed me. I make that thing personal. Then I wrote, if you have been a slave to sin, God can bring you through it. Cry out to him. Amen. He will bring you out of darkness and break away your chains. Say, God can bring me out of darkness into the marvelous light amen and he can break every chain i just declare and decree that he is breaking every chain right now in your life everything that has kept you bound everything that has kept you down stressed and depressed and oppressed i declare and decree right now that god is breaking every chain anything that is not of him anything that doesn't look like him we're just we're just rejecting it right now say i reject it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so I just want to encourage you to commit with us every day to spending some up close and personal time with God, meditating on his word, writing the word, right? Writing the word and, and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. Just take time to be still and know that he is God and listen to the voice of God as he guides you. Amen. And so we thank you, God, for this time. May God add the blessing. Um, and healing to the reading and the writing and the study of his word. Father God, we believe and we receive your word today. Amen. Listen, you be encouraged and not discouraged. And I will see you tomorrow for we write the word. Now, once you have written your word, don't forget to share it in the group. Post it so that we can encourage each other. Amen. We're in this thing together. Amen. God bless you. Be encouraged. Not discouraged in Jesus' name. And I will see you the next time. He's good. God is good and his mercies endure forever. His mercies endure forever. I just feel like praising him. God bless.